command prompt is a command line software or a command line interpreter application that is available in most windows operating systems such as windows vista windows xp windows 2000 windows 7 windows 8 windows 10 windows 11 and windows 12. this software is freely installed and comes along with the operating system you need not to manually download and install this program on your computer system when you have windows operating system you have this software or this application freely installed on your computer system and you can use it for so many purposes this software is used for executing and also performing different tasks such as launching of programs deleting and creating of folders creating batch files used for performing various tasks that can be performed on your windows interface this command prompt has those capabilities and abilities to perform those tasks that are frequently and daily performed on your windows interface or your desktop background and it can be used to perform basic and advanced code writing so this command prompt is used to write some command lines and codes to perform a specific task based on the user need now that we have the fair idea about this particular program let's see how we can access this program on our computer system and this is a beginner's guide to this software and along the way we are going to learn some basics and also some advanced commands we can write within this command prompt interface so now that we understand what this software is how can we access this program on our computer system to get access to this program you move to your start button on your windows tags bar then you click on it this opens the start menu and we have so many ways we can open this program from this interface and we can use this vertical scroll bar and scroll to find command prompt and as you are scrolling if you are not able to find this command prompt in this list there is a folder that is created which consists of this program and other programs as well and that folder is known as windows system so you scroll to find a folder that is known as windows system and this is the folder that we are looking for which is windows system and this folder consists of different softwares therefore we are going to click on this drop down to expand this folder and now you can see that we have these folders within this windows system and as i said earlier this program comes along with the operating system so we need not to download and install manually so i'm going to click on this and this opens the command prompt window on your desktop background the quick way to get this is to use the search box on the tags bar and you can quickly type command prompt and if you frequently use this program you are going to have this program below the recent option and if you don't have it below the recent option then you have to type it in the search box on the tags bar and this is going to display the best match based on your search and now you can see that we have command prompt in this list and you can click on it to also have a quick access to this program you can pin this program onto your tags bar and currently these are the programs i have on my tags bar therefore i can pin this program onto the tags bar to have quick access to it and since we have this in this interface we can quickly click on this option which is pin to tags bar and now i have this program displayed on my tags bar and anytime i want to work with this software i have to have a once click on this program on the tags bar and that is going to display its window for me to have my operation done so this is the quick way to access this program on the windows interface an advanced way to get this also done is to use a keyboard shortcut that is windows r and this displays the run window and you can search for cmd and when you click on ok 
this also displays the command prompts on your windows interface so you can use any of these approaches that i have showed you in this video to get access to the command prompt or to open the command prompt on your windows interface and start working with it now i have pinned this program on my tags bar so i'm going to use this method to have a one click on it and this is going to open the command prompt now we have this window and let's look at some features or let's understand the anatomy of this window this is the window that you obtain whenever you get access to the command prompt and it has some features i want us to recognize so that we can have the fair idea about this program and also how to manipulate it this area you see here is the working area it is the command line interface this is where when you start to key in your commands or your codes that is going to display in this interface so this interface is known as the command line interface and when you move to the right side we have this bar which is the vertical screw bar this is used to screw up and down to view all the coded lines or the command lines that has been inputted into this working area or the command line interface so this is known as the vertical screw bar now we have this control menu which consists of the close button the maximize button and the restore button these buttons also allows you to control the window of command prompt and this x button which is the close button when you click on this this close the program permanently from the windows interface so as you can see i have closed this program from this windows interface we also have this maximize button when you have a click on it this enlarge or makes the window fully cover the desktop and you can have a better view of this window as well so this is the maximize option or maximize window of this command prompt and we have an additional button which is the restore down this also allows you to restore the window to its previous look or previous view when you maximize this particular window so when i click on this button i get the restore down of this window that is this is the previous window when we clicked on the maximize button and we have this button which is the minimize button this allows you to temporarily close this window onto the windows taskbar so when i click on this this closes the window but it is found as an opened window on the windows taskbar so when i move back to the taskbar i have this window here and i can have a once click on it to have it back on the windows interface we also have this bar which is the title bar it consists of the name of the program and also the control menu so you can see that we have the command prompt displayed here and this bar that consists of this command prompt and the control menu is the title bar now a quick review this working area or this command line interface also displays the version of your windows and also the company that created or designed this version of windows so you can see that i have my windows as microsoft windows version 10 which is windows 10 and these are my version numbers related to whatever operating system i am using and also it was created or designed by microsoft corporation so this command line interface displays the version of your windows in this particular window now let's look at some hidden features of this command prompt when you move to the title bar and at the top left corner we have this icon that represents the command prompt and when you click on this we have this drop down that gives you the option to restore move size your window and also minimize maximize and also close this window as well so this control menu has its hidden features also displayed in this icon so you can also edit you can also change the default operation of this window and also the properties now let me maximize this now we have the maximize window of this command prompt when you click on the icon 
this gives you the option to restore you can also maximize you can also move this window and that is going to display the move icon so when i click i can move this window around using the move button we also have minimize that minimize this window onto the tags bar you can restore and also you can close this window all these things can be done under this icon when you move to edit this gives you the option to mark some commands that you have inputted into your command line interface you have the option to mark command prompt whenever you start to key in some command lines into your command prompt interface you can also copy some command lines we also have the option to paste select or scroll and also to find certain commands within this window and this we are going to explore this in our next tutorials as well we also have this default option when you click on it you get this console windows properties which allows you to configure some settings that can be applied to this command prompt interface so we have options we have font layouts colors and terminals when you move to options you can change your cursor size whether small medium or large you can also change the buffer size the number of buffers that you want to use we have other edit options here you can have quick edit mode insert mode enable control key shortcut all these are based on your preference when you move to font you can change the font size of your test within this window and currently I am using the font size of 16 and that is what is displayed in this command prompt window you also have the font type and now i'm using the consular font type you can change this to any font type that you want based on your preference when you move to layout you also have you can change the width and height of your screen buffer size you can also change the window size as well and all these we are going to explore them in our next tutorials this video is giving us a brief description and also how this windows looks like and their individual features as well you can also have colors given to your background and your test when you move to the colors tab you have the option to change the screen text also the screen background the pop-up text and also the pop-up background when you move back to the icon and choose properties you also have this command prompt properties this is related to the default option but the difference is that we have command prompt properties on this title bar and when you move to the default we have console windows properties this directs you to the colors tab and when you choose the properties this directs you to the colors tab as well and these two windows have the same properties that can be configured to apply some settings to your command prompt window so these are the features of this command prompt which is a free program that is installed on our windows system so this is a command prompt and they are related features that can help us to write some basic and advanced commands